Police in the US say they've arrested a 17-year-old youth in connection with the fatal shootings of two people during anti-racism protests in Kenosha, Wisconsin. The killings may have been a vigilante attack, police say, carried out by a white male caught on video firing into the middle of the street. The protests were ignited by the police shooting of Jacob Blake on Sunday. Well, our reporter Andy Rosjan is in Kenosha and we can speak to him now. Uh, Andy, good to see you there. Uh, what do we know about uh, the, the arrest and the suspect who's been charged? Not much, unfortunately, Tokes. Police are being very tight-lipped right now, as they have been throughout this process. They haven't been talking about the circumstances under which this shootings happened yesterday. We do know that, as you said, it's a juvenile who's been arrested in northern Illinois. That's not far from here. But it just goes to show that uh, so much of this violence is being driven by things beyond what it was originally starting as, as a protest against the police killing of Jacob Blake. Now, uh, last night I talked to uh, a store clerk who was here last night and said he saw upwards of 30 armed militia men, vigilantes, the sheriff's department calls them, men who are walking around with walkie-talkies and apparently a very coordinated effort to try to protect property. And uh, this has been in response to the devastating uh, trashing and ransacking and looting and fires that we saw on Monday night. And as we talked about uh, earlier, Tokes, this is all just disgusting to Black Lives Matters protesters who say, look, we started this out as a peaceful protest each night but now it's sort of been hijacked by these agitators who want to cause trouble, who want to wreck things, and then now by these armed militiamen who want to fight back against that. And Black Lives Matters protesters are furious that all of this, this upping of this uh, violence is really uh, handicapping their protest movement. Well, Andy, tell us something more about these demonstrations uh, before the unrest, because we also ha heard from you know, members of the uh, Blake family appealing for calm. Right, especially after what happened last night. And they've been saying, uh, you know, as what we've heard before in situations like this, family members of police, uh, victims of violence say, look, this is pointless. This kind of violence gets us nowhere. It makes everyone look bad. And I got to say, Tokes, that a lot of this is being driven by social media because uh, we've been seeing on social media that these agitators who want to come in and kind of destroy things around here, who aren't really part of the Black Lives Matter movement, at least not a, to the people that are really marching out here every night, uh, they've been advertising, we've been seeing on social media that they were promising seven nights of violence, of unrest, of looting and ransacking businesses to try to get whatever point they've got across. And one of their targets, apparently, according to social media, was going to be the hospital here in Kenosha. That's back there beyond the court house along this street where the shootings happened. In fact, the shootings happened right outside the hospital. So it's now believed that the shootings last night had something to do with these agitators on social media possibly targeting the hospital, which never occurred, by the way.